Mr Agnew. Thank you. I, I think it's fair to point out that actually all water is reused. It goes round and round uh, the surface of, surface of the planet in one way or another. Europe doesn't actually have a problem with not having enough water. It just doesn't always fall in the right place. And I'm just thinking of my own country, the United Kingdom. Fort William up in Scotland has 180 inches of rain a year, I believe. And where I live, we have less than 30. So it's a matter of getting it from one place to another. Most European countries have access to the sea. I think there's only about six that don't. And so desalination comes into play. And a great deal could be learned from Israel about this. But sometimes you want to go for the cause rather than the symptom. And we could... Uh, breed our crops so they don't need quite so much water, but that means embracing new plant breeding technologies, which I'm afraid the Green Lobby in here just will not do. I also noticed that uh, around the coast of Great Britain we have these unsightly wind turbines that are providing electricity for the grid at huge cost. These could be diverted into desalinating water and pumping it into reservoir reservoirs as and when the wind blows. Finally, our Dutch, a pity our Dutch colleague has just gone because his country have the real expertise in the, in the use of water and uh, we have a resource of knowledge there and we ought to use it. Thank you. There has uh, been the issue of responsibility and this, our proposal is very clear. Um, our proposal uh, is addressed to the operators of the reclamation plants and of course also to the member states, but we are not regulating farmers transport or anything else that happens after the water has been produced and leaves the plant. And why is this? This is because there is already EU regulation in place. There is in particular the regulation on the hygiene of foodstuffs and farmers today operate under that regulation and it also is about irrigation water and all sources of irrigation water. What it doesn't do is clarify the criteria for for example, treated wastewater if it's used for irrigation. So this is where our proposal comes in and helps to clarify and again to reassure everybody that the water that is being used this way is, is safe. Now, the farmers may use this water, but they mix it, blend it, they have other sources and there may even be the possibility, as was mentioned, to avail themselves of water in the winter to store it and to use it when it gets hot and there is less water available. This is not uh, falling under our proposal and this is of course a very good option. I think in, in the current circumstances all options to save water and to make sure there's enough water available at the time that is needed is, is very valid.